It is said, if you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This is the spirit with which Sunral approaches the construction of the breathtaking Msikaba Bridge in the Eastern Cape. This is South Africa at Work, a collaborative process that is led by Sunral, supported by the Department of Transport in partnership with the local communities, SMMEs, and of course, a world-class construction joint venture called MEXA, called MECSA. The size and complexity of the bridge is beyond anything built previously in Southern Africa. It's going to be a vital part of the N2 Wild Coast Road between East London and Port Edward and help expand South Africa's infrastructure in rural and underdeveloped areas where people are cut off from economic opportunities because of lack of access. The N2 Wild Coast Corridor is a national priority. It's a key component of the strategic integrated project under the National Development Plan. That sees the construction of a new road link between KwaZulu-Natal and the Eastern Cape with a specific focus of linking up Port Shepston with Ntata. To execute a project of this magnitude takes patience and planning. The N2 Wild Coast Road project has been 20 years in the making. We actually designed the two big bridges way back in 2003, but we couldn't implement until recently because of uh, various factors such as the environmental impact assessment and then waiting for the green light from the Presidential Infrastructure Coordinating Committee. Nature conservation is important everywhere, but especially on this project, this pristine environment definitely needs to be looked after. So even though construction and development is important, it is also crucially important that we've got zero impact on the environment and make sure that this is left for generations and generations to still come. With the advent of COVID, we already had extensive occupational health and safety plan requirements on all our construction projects in line with the Department of Labour requirements. So when the COVID-19 event happened, it was relatively easy for us to update these occupational health and safety plans to include the relevant requirements related to COVID and the rollout of them to all our construction projects, including the Misikaba project, has enabled us to prevent any major COVID-19 related incidents on any of our projects. What makes this project special is that it's the second longest main span bridge crossing ever built in Africa. And we will have to build this project, having the community fully involved on it in every way. Some of the challenges that we're facing on a project like this, you can appreciate if you look around that it's a very remote area. You're far from the, the main city, so we have logistical challenges where we have to plan better in terms of getting resources uh, into the area. The surrounding communities are already uh, positively uh, being impacted by this uh, bridge. For example, the cable car that we're in was uh, installed and commissioned by a company from uh, Switzerland and they were able to train the, the, op the local operators who are currently operating this uh, cable car. The Msikaba Bridge here in Nusikisiki will cross over the Msikaba River by means of a major cable stay bridge with a main span of 580 meters. What stands out about this project mainly is, is, uh, is its engineering complexity. It's, uh, it's a flagship for South Africa, it's a flagship for uh, Africa as a whole yeah, in terms of uh, what can be done uh, engineering-wise. This area is most 
in a deep rural area. So now people are able to start their own businesses because they are working together with the contractors and the engineers who are around the area. Well, the local community is involved from day one. Well, uh, as soon as we break ground, they are there. They are there with us. If it can be done by a local community, it will be done by the local community. If it can be supplied by the local community, it will be supplied by the local community. The project is proceeding well, thanks to the strength of the positive contribution by the local subcontractors. My company, Mapazu Trading and Projects, started in 2008, but I only got an opportunity to work with Sandral in 2017, where we got an, an opportunity to join under a development program for the SMMEs where I was constructing the access roads in Alfred Zoo. I work with local people. 80% of my staff, they are from Lambasi, Tlavugazi and other nearby locations. On this project, Mapazu is crushing the stone on the north and the south bank. The stone that we are crushing is going to be laid on the access roads that they are being maintained. All eyes are on Msigaba Bridge, a project that will help to link producers to markets, workers to job opportunities, and spur much needed economic growth in the Eastern Cape and KwaZulu Natal. Here's to world class infrastructure. <laughs>